Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to the farm. Today we're going to have some fun using the landscape rake. So we've got a six foot landscape rake here. We're going to disconnect our scrape blade from the tractor. We're going to hook up our landscape rake. I got a little bit of drama to fix with the six foot scrape blade. We're going to just go around the farm, clean up some land that we had cleared last spring that's still full of rocks and stumps and sticks and weeds. So come along today. We'll show you a little bit about the landscape rake, give you a little food for thought and just have some fun here on the farm. All right. Stony Bridge. Farm Stony Bridge. Stony Bridge Farm. <laughs> Guys, my dogs were eating deer turds. <laughs> so they're in timeout over here. I fussed at them. They're like, oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to eat any more deer turds. <laughs> so here is our old landscape rake. And you can't really tell it right here. The camera really does it no justice. But it's shaped like this. Because we got into some really heavy stuff. And we basically bent it. Now I know what you're thinking. We can bend this back. And we will. We'll heat it up. And we'll bend it back to where it needs to be. And we'll keep using it on the farm. We might have two tractors running at the same time. Because we're clearing land here. We've got a lot of work to do with landscape rake. Now let me show you the problem that's posed with this scrape blade. So the scrape blade is too heavy to pick up. This is a heavy duty scrape blade. It's too heavy for me to pick up. The landscape rake and small stuff like this, I can lift it up and hook it to the three point. But I cannot do that with this. And what had happened was... The little stand that was hooked to it, I hooked up to the three point and raised it up and drove off and bent the stand. So we got to fix that real quick and I got a pretty cool solution. I think you'll like it. So the one thing that remains a constant on the farm is that you are going to bend and break stuff. So this is the stand that fits on the scrape blade. And as you can see, it is bent and this is flared out so basically this is where the pin used to go and i want to put the pin back there basically slide the pin in and let it just sit right on top of that but it won't fit in because it's flared out right here i've got a pretty cool solution i have an old piece of railroad track right here and we're basically just going to take our little ball peen hammer and we're going to hammer this guy out i had a bigger hammer at checkout at lowe's and left the stinking thing right there at the checkout counter. I set it there, and when I walked off, I totally forgot the thing. So, let's get busy. First of all, I wanna try and straighten this out. So, you see that little elbow in there? That's what I wanna do first. Really need a bigger hammer, but a couple extra wax isn't gonna kill it. Getting there. Smart thing to do is not have this gas can right beside where I'm making sparks. <laughs> All right, so we're straightening her on out. A couple more good wax ought to get it. Okay, now the next thing we've got to do is repair this flared out portion right here, and you can see it's flared out right there and it won't fit in the sleeve. So we'll tap that out a little bit. Now I could heat this, you know, with a forge or whatever but we don't need all that an old piece of railroad track like this really does a great job for a little makeshift anvil portable anvil okay I think we've got all the flare out. Let's give it a try. So here is the little hole where we need to slide this guy in and make sure it's gonna fit. Very good. I think we're good to go. Might whack it a couple more times with a hammer. So I'm gonna take the scrape blade over, put it in its appropriate little place. We have a bunch of loads of rock dust coming up. Basically, I think they're called screenings or washings from the rock quarry, and we can get them at no cost. Basically, the only cost I have to incur is the hauling cost, the fee to haul it. So we're hauling in some rock dust to fill in some areas. That stuff packs really, really well, and we wanna fill in a spot that's kinda of low where we've been storing our equipment so that we can maybe build a new shed right there. So you might get some shots of that today. Contact! All 
right, so where we go from here is I'll slide this guy out, I'll slip this guy in, and then I'll bring my three point down. So without that piece that I just fixed, this thing would flop down on the ground and it's extremely difficult to get it back up and hook up to the three point. Handiest wrench to have on your tractor with this point, it helps to align any hitch misalignments that you can get into. So you can stick it in there and wedge things around and use it as a beater right there and you can use it as a wrench. My favorite wrench to have on the tractor. So from here we back up to the landscape rake. I'll show you some of the features of it and we will get busy, baby. Pretty lightweight, simplistic hookup right here. Just wedge it right on over and get it closer. All right, basically just give it a lift, slide it on your three point, drop in your pin. All right, so you can see right here, we got a little bit of an issue of lining up. We'll just lift up on our three point real quick. We'll slide this guy in place. There we go. We'll slide our shim in. Good deal, ready to go. I don't know if I told you guys yet, but I nicknamed this thing Reiki Bobby. So we're gonna raise up Reiki Bobby and I'll show you a few of the features of the piece of equipment we're working with today. Cool. I got a dump truck coming up the driveway right now. So we're gonna have to hit T and we'll come back and talk a little bit more. This is rock dust or screenings. The reason we're getting this is because we've got a low spot basically right in front of that truck. And that's where we're gonna store all of our equipment from now on here on the farm. This is the central most location on the farm that's good for storing equipment. So what I gotta do and what he's gotta do is figure out a way to get turned around right here. And then he's gonna dump back in that hole first and work his way out. And then we're gonna take Big Bubba the box scrape and scrape it all out and level it all out. It'll be awesome. This stuff packs really good. I'll show it to you once we get it dumped. A lot of stuff going on every day here, man. So fun. So what we have here is called screenings and it's basically the rock dust, the dust that comes off of the rocks when they rinse them for clean stone like this stone, number 57, like you would have in your driveway. This stuff packs as solid as a rock and it works great for filling in places that you want to build up for a driveway, for parking or anything like that. Pretty cool. They're giving it away at the rock quarry. Rad. So let's talk a little bit about Reiki Bobby, the landscape rake. These are called tines and the tines are basically little springs that spring back when you rake the land with them. We're going to go put it to work here in a second and you'll see what it does. These are called gauge wheels or leveling wheels. They're shims that you put in place right here. Basically you just pull a pin right here and you slide this up and down and you put your shim in place. We're not going to be using those right away here because we basically want to lift up all of the debris that's on the ground. So we're going to use the rake to the fullest digging power that we possibly can without tearing it up. If we angle it over to the side like this, it will kick debris out as it goes into different wind rows. In other words, a row, a pile of debris, and we'll go back with the bucket on the tractor, scoop it up and dispose of it. So if you think about it, when I lower this down to the ground, the weight of the three point and the tractor and the rake itself is all that's holding this down. That's all the weight that's holding it. In other words, it's not for digging, it's for scraping debris off the top of the ground, or you can move sand with it if you wanted to. Now these gauge wheels or depth or leveling wheels could be used to offset that weight. In other words, if you're going through terrain with big dips and big bumps and ruts and holes, this could help out to keep it on a level plane. In other words, right now we only have one plane. If we put this in, we put two planes and make it like a grader. It grades the land out flat and makes it pretty. Cool? Time to get to the nitty gritty of this job here. So you see what we've got here. This is land that we cleared. It was all brush. It was all just a mess, a mess of tangled trees, kind of like this mess right here when we bought the property. So this is probably an acre and a half pond, and this is probably an acre and a half of land right here. And basically what we're gonna do is take that landscape rake and run all over this land. This is gonna take several hours to do, but what we're trying to do is get this stuff up. Rake it up into piles, rake it up into windrows, pile it up, burn it, dispose of it, put it in a hole, get rid of it. That's the whole goal here so that this place is nice and smooth and pretty and it has a beautiful field across here. And the land looks like this, nice and clean and pretty. 
Cool. So there's a stump here from a tree that was cut. There's a bunch of brush over on the other side of that. I just chipped up a whole bunch of that stuff. And if you look over in here, there are a bunch of rocks and just a mess. Hopefully this landscape rake will pull all this old grass out. It will expose the land a little bit. Then we'll come back behind with the seed drill or we may come back behind and level the land just a little bit better, rake it again, and then drill fescue grass seed, which is what we'll grow here for hay on the farm. Pretty cool. Let's get busy and get to slinging some dirt. All right? Okay, so I've done two or three laps around the whole field here and things are looking good things are shaping up you can see back here things are starting to smooth out a little bit but they're not really entirely smooth and the rake is not really big enough to handle great big boulders and you can still see some big boulders what we've been doing is just throwing the boulders off in the pond or throwing them over in a hole there's a kind of a ditch over here that we've been trying to fill in and we'll cover that up with dirt when we get done it's doing a great job you can see right here it's raking it clean here's some of the stuff that it's been raking up any holes or dips it's just basically raking loose dirt into those holes and dips really happy with what's going on but a few adjustments need to be made i need to adjust this to where it swings and pushes down the hill in other words i'm going to start working my way all the way around this entire pasture this entire field and pushing it all toward the center okay so i'll probably do a couple laps to loosen things up on the outside edge and then i'll just keep on riding till i push everything off to the center we're going to angle this rake to where it pushes everything to the inside of where we're going and we're going to go around this counterclockwise pretty cool it doesn't make much sense for me to push debris uphill so we're going to try and do this in a couple different sections so that i'm always pushing almost downhill it's a slight grade right here but i don't want to push it up a steep hill it just doesn't make any sense it just won't work so we want to push things down the hill and i'm going to remove these wheels for the time being because we're not leveling land all we're doing is raking up debris and i don't want those wheels to get hung on something and bend something cool Frustration. The end to a wonderful day here is flat tire. Look at this. Blowing out pretty good here. Right there. Nice. 
nice big hole. So, I think we got a plug kit at the house. I hope we got a plug kit at the house. <laughs> so guys, cross your fingers. If not, then we'll be taking this to the tire store tomorrow. This thing is heavy, heavy, heavy. It probably weighs somewhere in the neighborhood of 250, 300 pounds, something like that. We'll pull that off and take it to the tire store and have them put a plug in it. Awesome. Sometimes the days end on the farm prematurely. I hope this is not a premature end to our day. Let me tell you a little bit before we get done about the rake and what I've learned. So the rake is doing great. By the way, you never need a jack when you got a bucket. <laughs> so the rake is doing great. It'll get sticks stuck in it like this. Let me show you. So sticks and twigs and stuff like that, this is what happens. So basically you just have to stop sometimes at the end of a row and just clean it out really good. So I contacted Titan Attachments this morning. I shot them an email and told them I was naming my rake, Reiki Bobby, and they made us a discount code, 5% off for Reiki Bobby. R-A-K-E-Y-B-O-B-B-Y. Reiki Bobby, all one word. You get 5% off a landscape rake <laughs> at Titan Attachments. Well, it looks like we got lucky. I brought my little compressor over here and the air tank is full. Hopefully there's enough to get the tire partially full. I found a patch kit. Cross your fingers that it works. It's for car tire. So this hole may be a little bit too big. I'm not too sure, but we'll find out. So in the patch kit comes the patches, the installation tool for putting the patches in or the plugs, and a reaming kit. So this is knurled to ream it out. So we're going to ream it out first. Hopefully it pushes through and she does good. Basically this kind of sands that edge a little bit gets the rough edges away and we'll take one of these gooey 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 thingies plugs hopefully they're not dry rotted they've been in the shed for a few years I think this will probably be the last time I'm gonna use these anyway get one of these little plugs out and this is the plug it's like sticky icky gooey if you've never done this before they're like li three little pieces of rope in there we'll feed that pinch it and feed it through the needle head basically right here okay get right down to the center just like that and then we'll push it and pull right back real quick into the tire down in there there's your patch and then snatch it back and that should be plugged hopefully yeah she's taking on air pretty good so it looks like our plug worked. We're gonna get back to work, gonna get busy. Hopefully we can get you a cool sunset drone shot. I'm excited about that. Hopefully we can get this done. We probably got three more hours of daylight here. Before you guys give me too much crap, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this plug off kind of about a half inch outside the tire, okay? So it doesn't pull all the way out. I knew you were thinking about that. I'm not gonna get this job done today. You can see what a good job the landscape rake has done here. It's done a fabulous job. Very, very happy with the purchase. Everything looks great. No complaints whatsoever. It's been very, very sturdy. I haven't had to use the wheels on it. Um, I don't think I will have to use the wheels on it at least until I get the land leveled out just a little bit. I'm very happy with the purchase, very happy with the decision, and I got a lot more work as you can see. Thanks a lot for coming to the channel today. Please subscribe, punch that like button for me, and click the little bell icon. It'll notify you when I post a new video and we can have some more fun. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge. All right, woo! Land of the free and the home of the brave. I'm proud of who I am and I'm proud of what I made on the Stony Ridge.
You can do it! Oh, you rusty turd. Oh, dude. Huh.